Okay, welcome back. And in this section, let's talk about the wheel of life. Now, the wheel of life that you've got here, you may have done the wheel of life before, you may have come across the wheel of life. In this one, we've got 10 sections. And so each of these pi sections represent a area of our life. And so I want you to imagine that the center of the wheel is zero and the outside of the wheel is 10 and imagine that you could go from 0 to 10 in each one of these pi areas so the idea is that you draw a curved line in each of these pi areas on a scale of 0 to 10 ask yourself where am I now not how you would like your life to be but how is your life at the moment in each of these areas? So example, in your career, let's say that you felt you were a 3 out of 10 in your career. Then you would draw a arched line around about where you'd imagine 3 would be if 0 is the middle and 10 is the outside. Then finances. And then you do that for each area of your life. Now, this is a really useful tool, and I do this with all my new clients. You see, what it does is it actually helps us to drill down and find areas of the life where the client may actually want to be working on. And what you'll notice is that very often by working in one area of the life, actually it affects other areas of our life. So example, let's say that my career was 3 out of 10 and finances was 3 out of 10 and let's imagine that fun and recreation was 4 out of 10 as we work on our career well that might have an impact on my finances and in turn might then also have an impact on fun and recreation or health and fitness or if I spent more time doing personal development that might have an impact on finances. So working on one area of our life very often has an impact on other areas of our life. Now like I said, the center is zero and the outside is 10. The aim here is not so much to have a perfect 10 out of 10. Yes, that would be great. However, often people give themselves high scores and they're actually fooling themselves. So the idea here is to be totally honest with yourself. This is your wheel of life. Nobody else is going to see it. Your wheel of life. So be totally honest. How satisfied are you in each area of your life? And notice how round your wheel actually is. So it's about balance. Yes, it would be lovely to have 10 out of 10 for everything. But it's about balance. And so... I would suggest that you go ahead, complete this wheel of life for yourself, see where you are at for each area of your life. In your manual, there is actually a, a wheel of life drawing for you, and I would suggest go ahead, do that now, complete your wheel of life. There's also a description for each area as to what each of these areas mean. And then there's also some questions that you can ask yourself or your client in regards to the wheel of life questions like looking at the wheel what would you like to work on first do any of the other areas relate to the area that you want to work on and so forth so complete the wheel read the description of each area and ask yourself those questions that are there to get some further understanding about the wheel of life or the areas that you might want to work on and then in the next section what we're going to do is we're actually going to start talking about how to write your goals so how to set your goals so go ahead and do the exercise